learning how to find out the quantity of sand cement and water required to build a wall is a powerful skill that every civil engineer and quantity surveyor should know it essentially helps us to plan properly and know the quantity of materials to be purchased to build walls for either brickwork or block work in this video i explain how to master finding out the quantity of sand and cement required to build a wall the concept is quite simple and easy to understand and we shall break it down into six easy steps. The first step is to find out the number of bricks or blocks required to build a wall. For example, let's use bricks. Number of bricks required to build a wall is equal to volume of the wall divided by volume of one brick with mortar. Considering a stretcher bond wall of 10 meters along the length and 3 meters along its height with bricks of size 230 millimeters along the length, 160 millimeters along the wall thickness or width and 70 millimeters height, volume of the wall here is 4.8 meters cubed. Considering mortar thickness of 15 millimeters, volume of one brick with mortar is equal to 0.003332 meters cubed. Whereas volume of one brick without mortar is equal to 0.002576 meters cubed. Number of bricks required to build a wall is equal to volume of the wall divided by volume of one brick with mortar. When we feed in our figures here, we get 1441 bricks. Therefore, for a wall of 10 meters along the length and 3 meters along its height, you need 1441 bricks. The second step is to find out the quantity or volume of mortar you need, which you get by simply saying that volume of mortar is equal to volume of brick with mortar minus volume of brick without mortar. What you remain with is the volume of mortar that you need. And in this case, this is 0.003332 meters cubed minus 0.002576 meters cubed to get this figure here. And this is the mortar required for one brick. Since we need 1441 bricks, we get mortar for one brick multiplied by 1441 bricks to get 1.089 cubic meters of mortar. Therefore, if you are purchasing ready mix mortar, you order it at this stage as 1.089 cubic meters to be delivered to you on site. And when you are preparing it by yourself, it brings us to the third step. The third step is to find out the dry mix of the mortar excluding water. Dry mix mortar means cement and sand, whereas wet mix mortar simply means cement, sand and water. We have 1.089 cubic meters of total wet mix volume, but remember we have to buy cement separately, buy sand separately and buy water separately. And we are going to separate all of them by calculation and this is so simple. Dry volume of mortar is equal to wet volume multiplied by 1.33. You treat 1.33 as a safety factor or constant when doing calculations including wet volume and dry volume of mortar. Dry volume in this case is equal to 1.089 meters cubed multiplied by 1.33 to get 1.44837 meters cubed. Since we have the dry volume now, this brings us to the fourth step. The fourth step is to find the volume of cement alone in the whole mixture. Considering mortar mix ratio of 1 to 4 that is 1 part of cement and 4 parts of sand, the total ratio here is 5, with cement alone taking 1 part out of 5. Volume of cement alone in the mixture is equal to volume of the whole mixture divided by total ratio multiplied by the ratio of cement. When we feed in our figures here, we get the volume of cement in the mixture as 0.29 meters cubed. Now that the volume of cement alone in the mixture is 0.29 meters cubed, getting its weight is quite simple. Considering density of cement as 1440 kilograms per meters cubed, weight of cement is equal to volume multiplied by density, which is equal to 0.29 meters cubed multiplied by 1440 kilograms per meters cubed. To get 417.13056, one bag of cement weighs 50 kilograms. When we get 417.13056 divided by 50 kilograms, you get nine bags of cement. Therefore, when building a wall of 10 meters along its length and 3 meters along its height, you buy nine bags of cement. The fifth step is to find out the volume of sand alone in the whole mixture. Sand takes 4 parts out of 5, 
volume of sand alone in the whole mixture is equal to volume of the whole mixture divided by total ratio multiplied by the ratio of sand. When we feed in our figures here, we get the volume of sand as 1.158696 meters cubed. Weight is equal to volume multiplied by density, considering the density of sand to be 1600 kilograms per meters cubed. When we feed in these figures here, we get total weight of sand as 1854 kilograms. After making your calculation in kilograms, 1000 kilograms is equal to 1 ton. Different trucks have different loading capacities in tons. For example, this 12 tire Sino truck carries around 36 to 37 tons. Meaning, when I calculate and find out that I need 37,000 kilograms of sand, I order for one Sino truck. The sixth step, which is the last step, is to find out the quantity of water which you need to mix sand and cement. And we get this by simply saying that quantity of water required is equal to 20% of the dry weight, which is equal to 20% of weight of sand plus weight of cement. When we feed in our figures here, we get 455 liters of water. Therefore, in simple terms, when you have a wall of 10 meters along the length and 3 meters along its height, you need to purchase 9 bags of cement, 1,854 kilograms of dry sand, or in case you are purchasing sand in terms of cubic meters, you will need 1.1586 cubic meters of sand, and then you also need to buy 455 liters of water. Also take note that the above calculation only covers the exact numbers. You will need to add 10 to 15% allowance for breakages or wastage. In summary, when finding out the quantity of building materials required to build a masonry wall that is either brickwork or blockwork, the first step is to find out the number of bricks or blocks required to build a wall. The second step is to find out the quantity of wet mix volume mortar. The third step is to find out the dry volume of mortar. The fourth step is to actually separate the mortar and find out the volume of cement alone in the mixture. The fifth step is to find out the volume of sand alone in the mixture. And the sixth step is to find out the quantity of water alone in the mixture. That's all about finding out the quantity of materials required to build a wall that is bricks, cement, sand and water. I hope you get something from it. If this video was helpful to you in any way kindly hit that subscribe button, I would really really appreciate. Be sure to watch this next video about how to calculate the quantity of cement, sand and aggregates required to cast concrete.